There we go. So we are in hand and low speed. We'll go back up here to the panel view. And as you can indicate in the yellow, the operation status says hand. The right part of the screen. We can get it in there tight enough for you. Motor status says low speed. I'll now switch it over to high. And as you can tell, the motor status went from high speed, our indication of high speed. We are still in hand. In your door view or lights on the door, control panel, lights on, running high speed, and running lights are on. Okay, we are now going to manually kill the power to the control panel. You can hear that beeping that's telling us that the um, UPS is working. We have a common fail light on the door. System status shows a fault, and we have a drive fault. However, the UPS is on and activated. Which again, if you can hear that beeping sound, that will indicate that. I'll now put it back on power. Okay. All right. On the local station, we had to switch everything to off, hit the reset. Everything went back to normal, but mainly showing you that loss of power, the UPS does come on, and that the uh, we do not lose screen view, or all your components inside stay lit. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this and pick this up. But obviously we have a green indicator light on the 110 outlet. I am now going to manually turn on the uh, thermostat down for the fan. Maybe. Nice. Yeah. Nope, you can't get it with that. Oh. Alright. We're on a pause. Uh, Tough like that one. Alright, neither one of us have a screwdriver small enough to fit the slot, but we're going to turn the thermostat down to uh, turn the fan on.
Alright, but in any event, hopefully you can hear that, that we've turned the thermostat down. And you'll just have to take my word for it that the fan is running. And I'll go turn that back up. Fan shut off. So that's basically a quick run through of the control panel for the uh, VMR number 312, or in our designation, it's also uh, VMR number 1. So we're going to have to take a few minutes shut down. We'll then bring in the other VMR and hook up the uh, control panel for that second VMR and I'll test that. And while they're doing that, we'll move over to the wash press and we'll actually videotape the wash press operations first. And then we'll come back and do the second VMR, which is number 322.